Natalie Rydstrom with sportsbookreview.com, delivering an iGaming news update today, August the 31st. The United States of America, home of the brave and land of the free, or is it? The U.S. Republican Party announced plans to prohibit online gambling if they take control of the White House, claiming that online gambling leads to the destruction of families. Earlier this week, the Republican National Committee listed the ideals of a Romney-Ryan campaign, describing in its release ways which it plans to renew American values. The Republicans are seeking to reverse the Justice Department's interpretation of the Wire Act, which led to state-by-state -state regulation, such as Nevada issuing the first ever interactive gambling licenses in U.S. history. This GOP's position may delay some states from following Nevada's lead until after the U.S. presidential election. The northernmost German state of Schleswig-Holstein's Interior Ministry awarded five new sports betting licenses. This is surprising because the new coalition government has introduced three bills aimed at ratifying and implementing the state treaty, as well as repealing the Schleswig-Holstein issued licenses. We spoke with an anonymous executive of a sports book holding one of Schleswig-Holstein's 12 gaming licenses, and she expressed confidence that these licenses would be honoured. The new licenses have been issued to Ladbrokes 888, Admiral Sports Wetton, as well as Cashpoint Malta LTD, according to a report published Tuesday by EGR. Another 22 license applications for sports, casino and poker are also under review. We will keep you up to date with this story as it develops. Social game provider Zynga has hired former 888 executive Maitl Ginsburg Olsher as its new chief operating officer for new markets. Ginsburg Olsher updated her LinkedIn profile to reflect the new post, though there has not yet been an official comment from Zynga. Zynga is a social game creator which develops games and widgets for Apple, Android, as well as social networking sites like Facebook. Zynga CEO Mark Pincus announced last month plans for the company to introduce real money gambling apps in 2013, according to a report by Gaming Intelligence. Now before we draw the show to an end, I'd like to say that our thoughts and prayers from all of us here at Sportsbook Review go out to New Jersey State Senator Raymond Lesniak, who suffered a minor stroke last week. Senator Lesniak has been one of the most outspoken politicians in favour of online gambling regulation and has worked tirelessly over the past few years to advance the cause. We had the pleasure of interviewing Senator Lesniak twice this year, which you can read in the SBR Newswire archives. Now on a lighter note, bookmaker Paddy Power has agreed to donate £100,000 to a charity of Prince Harry's choice if he will wear the company's lucky green pants for the next time he decides to bear all in Vegas. There's been no word yet from Buckingham Palace on if the royal prince has accepted the offer, but we'll just have to wait and see.